Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rumin. Welcome back to Silent Hill Homecoming. Last time we conquered our own home, and now we are in Silent Hill of all places. Woo boy. Woo boy. There's no dog here. Anyway, what I want to do is I want to try to get one of the most cryptic weapons, like, ever in any Silent Hill game. Like, I don't know why. The developers of this game thought they needed to make the rifle in this game so actually tedious to get. But that's how they made it for some reason, and I'm going to attempt to get it. But, woo boy, is it kind of annoying to get. Anyway. Yeah, we are in Silent Hill right now. In my opinion, it really does look really nice. I like Silent Hill's presentation in this game quite a bit, actually. Like, yes, it is colorless. Like, it's just white. But, like, if you ignore that, you know, it actually looks pretty good, in my opinion. Wheeler. Wheeler, are you there? Wheeler, come in. Alex, thank God. Where are you? I'm at the prison, but I can't get in. Is there another way? There's an entrance on the other side of the prison. That's your best chance. Be careful. And now the reason why it's all white and stuff is because there's actually a filter over the game that changes the colors to fit a certain tone. And with this unknown project patch that I'm using, I can actually disable it, which is pretty cool. But I'm going to go with, you know, how the developers like intended the game to look. So I'm not going to disable the tone filter. Maybe I'll do another playthrough of this game with the tone filter disabled. That'd be pretty cool. It'd be a lot more colorful. Overlook Penitentiary. I remember my dad and several deputies were sent here to help stop a riot. It was six days before he came back home, but he never once spoke about what happened over here. Did the riot last six days? I think you've run into this so you can get like electrocuted. Right? It looks like something, it looks like something tried to get in. Why would someone want to take refuge inside a prison? Yeah, see, look at all the scratch marks. Like, like a big beast of some sort. Try to ram itself inside here. It'd be pretty cool if we saw that monster. But I do not think we do. The cool thing about, the, about Silent Hill in this game is that monsters actually do come out of the drains. If you, like, watch them for a while. Like, you'll see a, see a lurker crawl out of it. I'm gonna use the axe because I just like the axe. What is this? Ah, oh, it's nothing. It's a bunch of blood on the wall. I'm on the lookout for some gems because you need those for some reason. You, you, you need a bunch of gems to get the fucking rifle in this game. And I honestly don't remember where they are. Really? I know there's one in the graveyard. But you don't need that one. There are four. Ah, oh, don't spoil the soldier. Anyway, anyway, um, yeah, there are four gems, and you need two of them. So two of the gems are red herrings. It's like, why would you tell me what the order soldier is when we haven't even fought the order soldier yet? Come on, game developers, get with it. Anyway, we're here now. Ooh. Look at this. Whole new different part of Silent Hill. Uh, I think this part of Silent Hill was in Silent Hill Origins. But it just looks a lot different. Granted, it's been like uh, a good 30 years since that game took place. So, you know, maybe they did some reconstruction. Cannot examine the edge of the street. Can I examine these shops? That's not very interesting. All of these are locked. There's no reason to, you know, open those. It's funny, in Silent Hill 1, there's only, like, two locked doors in all of the streets that you can't examine. It's pretty interesting. Wow. 
One hit of the axe, baby. Hell yeah. The axe is really powerful in this game. A lot of people underestimate the axe in this game because they're just like, oh, the knife is so good. And the knife is really good in this game, but I mean... I'm at the rear entrance. The gate is electrified. Damn it. It looks like they're running power from across the street. I'm gonna find a way to shut it off. Wheeler, what about L? Is she okay? I haven't heard anything, but who knows what those monsters are doing to her. You need to hurry. So while the knife might be the best weapon in the game because it's the fastest and has a lot of range, you can actually kill things a lot faster with the axe if you're good at using it. Anyway, this is what I was talking about earlier at the other, at the other uh, door, where if you run into it, you'll actually get electrified. That's pretty funny. Do it again. Do it again. That's a nice little detail, in my opinion. Again, I'm looking for some gems. I'm going to be playing very sloppy because I honestly don't even know where these gems are. I really don't know where they are. I got to be honest. Oh, look at that. Big old hole over there. Maybe that is a reference to Silent Hill 2, a subtle, in-depth reference. Maybe it is symbolic somehow of something in some way. <gasps> anyway. Is there- wait, what does I say? Is there anything around here still open? Oh, listen to that. Do you hear that? Do you hear that ambience? Do you hear that? I like the sound design in this game a lot. I believe this is one of Akira Yamaoka's like best works in terms in, in terms of sound design. I'm being serious. I think this is like genuinely. I think this is one of the best sounding Silent Hill games. Like I even think it's on par or better than some of the than some of the Team Silent games in terms of like how it sounds. I've already been over here. Oh my gosh, I'm so sloppy right now. Turn off this video. Like there are so many layers to every sound effect. That does not damage you. See, one hit of the axe, just just one hit. Ah, feral. I don't like ferals, dude. Ow. Eh, might as well use a serum. I mean, who am I kidding? I think I actually collected every single serum so far. There are eight in the game, so I might actually manage to find all of them. Maybe. I haven't found any gems yet. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Kuntz Limit. Limit. Eh, I can't see it. Alrighty. And here we are, a bunch of water. Don't get electrocuted. The lettings here are all saturated as well. It's funny, I don't think that happens the more you play this game. So like, do you see how the lighting's all saturated here? And like the gamma is really high? And how it was like that in Hell Descent and in the sewer? I think that goes away if you have completed this game before on the same like memory file. I could be wrong about that. Because I remember the PS3 and Xbox versions of this game. I didn't experience that much, but it's only because I played those two versions so many times. So just, so, so, so it just kind of stopped happening after a while. It is such a weird glitch because like I never hear like I tried to Google if anybody else had this gamma issue and I couldn't find any instances of it happening on the Internet. However, I know that it does happen because I'll be watching someone else's Let's Play or speedrun of this game and it'll be present. So it's like no one notices it. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Maybe I'm just like seeing things that aren't even there. Maybe the broken gamma is symbolic in some way of something. Anyway, oh, gem, get that. 
Is that one of the red herring ones? I don't think you need the blunt. I, I, I don't think you need the bloodstone one. And I think there's a photo nearby, too. I don't think there's a photo nearby. This is the same fire hydrant that we saw earlier in Silent Hill. Continuity. Where am I going? Look at this. This looks a lot like the same type of car James had in Silent Hill 2. I've already been here. Wait, no, I haven't. Okay, photo, photo, photo. Oh, serum. This is what I was remembering. I knew I was remembering something, you know, about, like, and I was trying to find it. It was the serum. Okay. It wasn't a photo. And I do remember the church. Oh, yeah, I went to go examine the church because I'm pretty sure if my memory banks recall, I think the church has some pretty interesting flavor text. I think... I'm running along the side here, just so those enemies don't bother me. They'll catch up to me eventually, though. Oh, trust me, they will. There's a feral about. There we go. Anyway, this is the church. If I recall, Alex has some pretty interesting flavor text for it. The entrance to the church is sealed shut. I guess there really is no sanctuary in this cursed town. See, that's interesting. That has a lot of personality to it, in my opinion. I guess there is no sanctuary in this cursed town. Like, gives off the vibe that Alex may be a little bit religious. I like it. I, I like that flavor text. We cannot examine this. Okay, the, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm just wasting time. I'm just running around looking for some goodies. If you ever see, like, really awkward and random cuts in these videos, it's probably because I looked around for a bit, didn't find anything, and then realized it was a, realized it was a waste of time, so I cut it all out. Anyway, Paul Russell Douglas was executed. Hey, we, re we read this earlier, didn't we? Uh, murder of eight children in and around Silent Hill and Shepherd's Glen areas. According to court records, he offered no resistance as he was arrested and strapped to electric chair. As officials, witnesses, and reporters watched. Uh, yeah, and then... Yeah, yeah, we yeah we read this. Remember that? We re read this in... Uh, I think episode two of this Let's Play. That was all the way back at Shepherd's Glen. So why was it there? Making sure I'm full of ammo. Okay, I can't carry any more. Wow, the gun holds a lot of ammo, actually. Wow. Alrighty. In the midst of it all. What even is this place, actually? I wasn't paying attention, really. There's actually a... I know there's a gem in here. I, I recall one in here actually being pretty tricky to find. Oh, look up there. Look at that window. Look at that ray of light coming out the window, shining that way. What is he looking at? Oh, this. Look at that whole bunch of nothing. Side of a cliff. Okay, Alex, jump! Whoa, big risky jump. How about that, folks? Nothing interesting there. I'll save in a second. Give me one second. Oh, to look at to look like water and power key. Spin the item around like this. Take a good look at it. Take 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 a good gander at the item. Can we examine this actually? Uh barely legible on the tag. Yeah, not not very interesting. Actually, can we examine this item? This is a locket that Elle took from her mom. And here we have two pictures of kids right there. A little boy and a little girl. Wait, is, that might be two little girls, actually. You can look up there. 
Not much up there, though. Ooh, look at that. Wait a minute. Is that the creeper from Silent Hill 1 and 2? Just a harmless enemy in this game? Or are those just regular cockroaches? Those are about the size they were in Silent Hill 2. Alright, I think that's uh, all that's in here. At the current moment, at least. Got a witch's broom right here. <clears throat> Listen to all the sounds of the wind. It's atmospheric. Oh my gosh, that one's hard to find. I almost missed that one. That turquoise. All right, let's get going. Oh God, don't crash on me game. I hope that text overlaying the load screen didn't like, okay, good. This part's actually kind of tricky because uh, some of the order soldiers have guns here. So you want to get headshots on them. All right, where are they? Oh, there's one. Oh my gosh, shoot the gun, Alex. I was getting some dropped inputs there, which is pretty annoying. Like whenever you see me hold the gun like this and just not fire like an idiot, that's because I'm trying to shoot, but the game just won't shoot. Yeah, these are the older, the, the order soldiers. Um, all of their animations are completely identical to Alex's, which is really lazy. And when they're climbing down ladders, they're completely invincible. So you have to wait till they're done with like these animations to be hits, you know? So when they're jumping down like this, you can't hit them. And when they're climbing up ladders like this, you can't hit them as well. The reason why that is, is because Alex is also invincible when he's in the middle of one of these animations. And the developers were too lazy to make it so the Order soldiers weren't also invincible when doing so. Do you see that? Just fucking disappeared. Oh god, they're gone now. Anyway. Here you can examine this. Take take a good gander. Take a good gander, you know. Station A controls the water feed, B controls the boiler, and C, steam feed. I wanna remember that. If I recall actually, there are a good amount of items to be found here. I think. I really don't know. Here we go. Pistol ammunition. And I'm full of pistol ammunition. Nice. My gun is fully loaded. I think I just heard an enemy. Oh, now that was just me bumping into that thing. Okay, fuck all of these barrels. Any order soldiers up here? I, re I distinctly remember there being more than two order soldiers, which is kind of funny. So I don't know why they're all missing. Wait, they might be later. I don't think there are any order soldiers right now because I killed all the ones now and then in a second more of them spawn after I do a little puzzle. Oh, first aid kit. How many of those do I have? I have six of those, wow. Any more? I, I might be missing some items in here, but honestly, whatever. Okay, notice, due to recent accidents, we have implemented new system fail-safes. The generator will now only power down if the proper sequence is followed. First and foremost, the boiler needs to be shut down. Closing off any of the other systems before the boiler is closed off will result in a system reset to prevent damage to the facility. The rest is burnt and legible. So basically, this is actually one of the more clever puzzles in this game. Well, it's clever in terms of this game. So basically, you know, see, that was the last. You want to turn that off last. So B is first. Because they're turning off the boiler first. Then when I go down.
over here. This one is next. So B, A. And then last, but definitely not least, got to go back up to C. Yep, that's that's the puzzle. In my opinion, that puzzle isn't terrible, like honestly. Alex, what's going on out there? The lights went out and they're running for cover. Did you disable the power? Hang in there, Wheeler. I'm heading back. Alex, there's ways a ghost. Okay, now order soldiers will spawn, but you know, you don't need to you don't need to fight them. Like whatever. I don't know why I'm talking like walkthrough commentary. This isn't like a walkthrough. That one has a gun. And he's yeah, just get down, Alex. Yeah, yeah, you don't need to fight these guys, just the uh, exit. Yeah, whatever. Alrighty, let's get going. Also, this place actually looks pretty cool now. I like I like this place at night a lot. Whoa. Also, this is one of the actually this is actually kind of creepy. I like this part because when you're running through here, it sounds like a bunch of order soldiers are following you, and it can really mess with the player. But guess what? There aren't actually any order soldiers, and it's and, and it's just meant to be like creepy. I, th I think that's a nice little clever scare. Granted, it doesn't scare me, but I mean, I can appreciate it. You hear that? It sounds like a bunch of aura soldiers are following me. What the fuck? I can't examine the typewriter. And the interesting thing about turning off the you know power grid is that like it makes all of Silent Hill night for some reason. And then we have this really nice eerie tune playing. I actually like this song a little bit because it's like, whoa, we're in Silent Hill for real Z's this time. Whoa. Anything over here? Oh my gosh, game, you do not freeze on me. That's not OBS. Uh, that's just the game skipping a bunch of frames. Yeah. Okay, nothing over here. N nothing over here. <clears throat> I got a cough. Here we have a Siam, uh, Feral. Don't need to fight them. Okay, I need to go all the way back to the graveyard. Oh boy, just a whole lot of backtracking. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I knew the I I knew a feral was was gonna catch up to me. Am I dead? No I'm not. Because the game kept like slowing down. And the more the game slowed down, the closer the ferals got to me, which is kind of funny. I promise, that's only a PC version issue. You know, this doesn't happen in the Xbox version, all the slowdown, so, yeah. If the game seems shittier than it is, and that's because I'm playing the PC version. This place does look nice at, at night. There's gonna be a Siam spawning in a second. I think. Actually, if that does happen, I'm gonna try to get a finisher on it. There we go. Okay, so want to dodge roll behind it, try to get behind it, hit it in its back. Okay, there we go. Okay, dodge that. Come on, get behind it, Alex. There we go. Ow. Maybe this. Maybe the knife.
that's a rarely seen finisher a knife finisher on a siam that's not something you see every day okay i want to pick this up definitely grab that okay now let's go back it's so funny um there's this really funny walkthrough of this game on youtube by bob's vids he did a whole big giant walkthrough of this game it's actually pretty damn good and it's really funny because when he got the polinski ask he polinski axe there he actually like did a big whole like history like lesson like on the axe like as it like as if that mattered it's really funny i recommend giving that a watch it's hard to watch now because YouTube got rid of annotations, but it's still worth it in my opinion. So yeah, you have the privilege of seeing what a Siam knife finisher looks like for watching this particular walkthrough. You're welcome. I mean, this, this particular let's play, you're welcome. Oh my gosh, so much backtracking in this game. To be fair, all of this backtracking is optional. Like you don't have to backtrack like this. It's not necessary. I'm doing it just because I want this secret weapon. Don't you freeze on me, game. Come on, game, don't freeze on me. Come on, game, don't freeze on me. Oh, there we go, okay. So I'm gonna go all the way back to the graveyard. Yes, this is just what it takes. The Plinsky axe is basically just the axe, but more, but, but more powerful. Even though it's an upgrade, it kind of feels slower. That could just be placebo, but it, but, but it does feel slower than the regular axe. Maybe it's placebo. Okay, over here. Don't need to fight that. My gosh, slow down in this game. Okay. Okay, we're making it. Did you hear that? That was kind of eerie. So, basically, somewhere I you know there is... A, yes, here it is. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, I think I have the necessary items for this. So, Janus. I remember learning about him in mythology class back in school. Janus is a Greek god of the middle ground between the barbarian and civilization, youth, and adulthood. So, Janus, uh, I'm pretty sure that's January. I do not have the January stone. I gotta go find it. That was... Okay, that's locked. All right. I know. I know the Janus Stone is somewhere to and fro. It's somewhere about the place. I think it's behind one of these locked doors. Yeah, my my memory's foggy. My mem my memory is foggy. Wait, where do you get this map? Oh, wait, you're still alive? Okay, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have to find a different route to the... to the cemetery if you can. If I can help it. I'm gonna heal. Why not? There's really no shame in getting hit in this game, in particular. Because, like, let's be real here, it is really hard to avoid damage in this game. Like, pretty hard to avoid damage. But, like, you know, enemies don't do that much damage, so. Yeah, no shame. I should really have my flashlight on. Because YouTube compresses the image, so it just makes it darker. And look at me just not turn my flashlight on like a douchebag. William P. Born, uh, these dates, that, that, just don't, that just doesn't matter at all. Uh, the graves weren't almost entirely smooth. Only a few were lines are legible. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't matter. 
I think there's another smog nearby, actually. Right. Right. That's locked. I know there's a gem. I, you, yeah, you, you, need, you need to excuse me, guys. This part's actually like kind of cryptic. This is this is actually a pretty cryptic part, actually. Oh. See that random opening in the wall right here? That's kind of cryptic, in my opinion. That's hard to find. Okay, here's the January stone. Garnet. Garnet is January. Do you hear that? The sound is bugging out, and you can still hear the sound of the wall crumbling. That's kind of funny. Or maybe it's just Silent Hill symbolically messing with my brain. Okay, no finisher. That was pathetic. Oh, wow, this has a lot to say. Reader, please pause and consider the va the vast importance of being always prepared to meet thy God, for thou knoweth not the time and place, nor the manner of thy death. That's interesting. I've never fucking read that before. Okay. Uh, over here. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Is there more over here I missed? Yeah, man, I heavy swinged that, uh, that lurker, I mean, that smog so many times, but it did not get stunned. So, oh, well, I really tried to get a finisher on it. All right. Okay, now I got a backtrack over here. I'm not speeding any of this up. You know, <laughs> you guys are just going to have to stick with this with me. I mean, sit through this with me because this is just what it takes, you know? Like, this is how you get this weapon. Like, it's just, like, it is just this tedious to get it. I'm trying to go for an authentic experience. Okay, so, yeah, Janus. Oh my gosh, gotta examine it again. Oh, right here. Uh. One of the new. Wait, what? Can't I examine the side of this? Okay, so December is turquoise, and then January is one, so January would be garnet. There. Am I going crazy, or wasn't there a lot more flavor text on this earlier? Like, there was like a whole little poem about the month of January or something. I think I'm just going crazy. This game is really getting to my head. No name or print is. Whose grave is this? Look at that. I believe this is really, really subtle foreshadowing to something later, actually, and I will mention what it is when I get to it. Isn't this honestly? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Like honestly, like I'm, 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 I'm just getting through this really sloppily. Like, where do I use this key? Oh, wait, way, way, way over there. Okay, way, way, way over here. Okay. Man. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm getting this goddamn weapon. Whether the Silent Hill gods like it or not. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, never mind. For a second. <laughs> for a second, that lurker in like my peripheral vision just looked a lot bigger than usual. But I was just seeing things, I guess. I wonder if the big lurker is symbolic in some... Yeah, okay. And then over here. And there's another smog here. Oh, 
Okay. There it is. It's, uh, the rifle. This weapon is really underrated because it, it, it can do this and this attack? Like the quick little, ah, uh, you know, that's actually pretty good. Like that can like stun enemies and stuff. And it's actually pretty powerful. Here, here they lie lost and mourned by their loving parents, Hannah and Thompson Chaperon. And here's another guy. Uh, here they lie lost in, okay, yeah. It don't matter what it says. Anything under here? No. It looks like Alex could probably crawl under that, could he? Probably not. All right. Anyway, now I gotta backtrack all the way to the penitentiary. So yeah, how was that little detour, that little side quest? Uh, now we have the rifle, we have a whole new weapon in our arsenal, and uh, yeah. It's rarely used, I rarely use it. Um, I mean, it's it's good, but you don't need it. It's damage is really comparable to the shotgun. Okay, just making sure I'm going the right way. Yeah, see, just one hit, like, like one hit kill. And the reload animation is really cool in my opinion. There's what melee fighting something with a gun looks like. It's actually more powerful than the knife. Melee, interestingly enough. Like you wouldn't expect it to be more, more powerful than the knife of all things. Yep. Granted, I'm gonna stop using it because it has very little ammo. Very little ammo. Like, there are barely any rifle shots in this entire game. Like, barely any. They give you a lot before the final boss, but besides that, like, you're not gonna find any. Pretty much. They did give me some before entering the the power grid, but, but besides that, like, you're not gonna find <laughs> rifle shells in this game. If I recall, at least. If you stand right here, there's actually a funny little bug because if you press examine, it actually you you can examine the the the, the whole prison. This might actually be intentional. Who knows? Okay, nothing in there. Looking around for some items. You can never go wrong. You can never be too thorough in a Silent Hill game or any game for that matter, really. Health drink. I have ten of those. Man, this game really lays those on you, don't it? Okay, this doesn't open. Yeah, no. Is there really no photo? I remember there being a photo nearby. I don't think it's important. No, wait, I don't think the next photo is until the church. Yeah, okay. This doesn't open. Yeah, I gotta find another enter entrance. Alrighty. That appears to be everything. This dumpster is filled with rotting garbage. Doesn't seem like it's been emptied for months. Thank you for visiting Overlook Penitentiary. Who would visit like a prison and want to be thanked for it? Granted, there are many reasons to visit a prison. But who would want to be thanked for it? Like, thanks for coming. Holy shit, that, that took a long time to load. Honestly, I'm cutting out that load screen because that one just took so long. Anyway, let's save. So yeah, that was uh, Silent Hill. A lot of people think that it's really linear in this incarnation and they don't like the lack of exploration, but I am going to disagree. I kind of think there's a little bit of exploration going on and I don't think it's as linear as everybody says it is. Like the streets in Silent Hill 3 are actually more linear than the streets in this game and nobody complains about that. Like, the streets in Silent Hill 3 are just ripped from Silent Hill 2. 
and stripped of all the items. Like, you literally cannot find any items in the streets in Silent Hill 3. A lot of people don't notice that, but it's true. However, in Silent Hill Homecoming, you can actually find items in the streets, and there is a neat little, albeit very tedious, side quest to get a rifle. So, really, it's not, like, as linear as everybody says it is. There's actually quite a bit of, quite a bit of exploration, and it does look nice. Like, it is a new, like, Silent Hill to explore. So, yeah, I like it, and I will defend it. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you on the silver lining.